Are you preparing for a classroom setup where you're not always going to meet your students physically? Then you need Google Classroom. I will teach you how to set up your own Google Classroom in three easy steps. Hi, I'm Sir Leo and this is The Creative Professor. If this is your first time here and you want to know more about online learning tools and digital platforms, please click subscribe and the notification bell at the end of this video to stay in the loop. With Google Classroom, you can create, distribute, and grade schoolwork online in a very simple way. Google Classroom will help you carry out your tasks as a teacher, monitoring daily attendance, making announcements, distributing and checking schoolwork, all in a very organized way. Join me in this video and let us learn and create. The first step is to create your Google Classroom. Sign in using your Google account or a Gmail. If you don't have one yet, you can create a Google email for free. Once you've signed in, click on the Google Apps button at the top right corner of the screen. Then look for Classroom. Then click it. Another way to do this is simply to type classroom.google.com After clicking Classroom, you will see this screen. Click on the plus button at the top right corner. The options show Join Class or Create Class. Click Create Class. Enter the details of your class. You may choose to answer all fields, but only the class name is required. Once you're done, click Create. The second step is to customize your class. After creating your class, you will see this screen. The default tab is called Stream. Here you see the class details and the class code. The class code is a unique combination of numbers and letters that your students will need to join your class. You may display the code for easier reading. You may also customize the look of your stream by using any of the preset themes that suit your class. Just click on your subject and choose an appropriate theme. Once you're done, click Select Class Theme. You may also personalize your stream by uploading a photo from your device. If there's anything you need to change in your class details, you can do that anytime. If you need to change your class details, just click on the gear icon on the top right corner and make the necessary changes. Then click Save. The third and final step is to invite your students. You're almost done setting up. Now, click on People tab to invite your students. You can invite your students by sending to them the class code which I showed you earlier. Or, you could invite them individually through email. Just enter their Google email addresses. Then, click Invite. They will receive the email invitation from you and you will see here once they have already accepted. It's that easy to set up your own Google Classroom. Amazing, right? Now, why don't you welcome your students with a message? Return to stream where you can post an announcement for your class. Just click on this field right here and you will see here the class and you can choose to send it to everyone. You can type a message or you can add anything from your Google Drive, from an online link, from your computer, or from YouTube. I have saved a photo message in my drive and I will send it to my class.
I can post it immediately. I can also schedule it or I can save it as a draft for future use. That's it! You're done setting up your Google Classroom! This video is a part of a Google Classroom series for teachers, students, and school administrators. And next week, I will teach you how to create and distribute assignments, quizzes, and materials to your students through Google Classroom. Thanks for watching! Please do like and share this video. And don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel, The Creative Professor.